What's up, everyone? Welcome back to Blizzard Buffalo's level. We're beginning our item collection video. To start with, we're going to go over to this transformation platform and summon ourselves the Chimera Armor. Or, to the layman, the basic right armor. Just like Mega Man X, it's got two abilities. It can dash, and it can punch. To find our item, we're going to punch out these ice blocks, one after another, and wake our way down. And our item is our fifth heart tank. With that collected, I'm going to cut here, and I'll meet you in the next level. Before we jump down to get our item, let's head over here to this transmission platform and give a demonstration of what the frog armor can do. This is a very unique fire armor. As you can see, it is not very mobile on land but it has its very unique abilities. It can fire homing torpedoes, and, more importantly, it is the only ride armor that can sustain itself underwater. If you try and take any other ride armor underwater, it will self-destruct by hitting the water surface. But for now, we don't really need this thing, so we're just gonna jump out of here. And right here, we're going to summon our frost shield, charge it up, and release a big block. We'll ride it to the top of the surface, and we should be just about where we need to go. Yes, sir. One upper dash. And there's our item. The Change Cave. Kangaroo Ride Armor. With that done, I will see you in the next level. In Tunnel Rhino's level, we have two items to collect. Over here is our first one. To get this item, we're going to pull out the Triad of Thunder, charge it up, and pound the ground. Force of our fist, We'll drop the bowler and give us a safe zone to cross. And there is heart tank number six. Okay, and just up here is where we need to get our second item. We're gonna charge the triad thunder one more time and knock the bowler out of our way. That item is ours for the taking. Good thing too, because it's a good one. This is the Dr. Light capsule for our helmet. What's up, Doc? Enter this capsule, X. Take this sensor upgrade for your helmet. The upgrade will help you to find hidden items based on the satellite readings. You should be able to tell the exact location of items using its ground penetrating radar. Hmm. Come to think of it, I kind of wish I got this one a little sooner. It would have made item collection that much more easier. But we can still give a, uh, a good demonstration right here. The beam of light shines out the front of our forehead, and up above us is the map of the entire level. If a square has a red blinking dot, that is where an item is. And seeing as how we have no more items to collect here, I'm going to cut the video here, and I will see you in the next level. Now that we're back in full capture stage, let's go up this elevator. This is the one where we stopped midway and headed for the right. Instead now, we're going to continue all the way to the top. Once there, we need to pull out the gravity well. Deploy the gravity ball and charge up. Once it returns, release it once more. Essentially, we reverse the flow of gravity and raise the platform to the very top. And there is our fourth and final Dr. Light capsule. Let's go pick it up. What's up, Doc? Enter this capsule, X. Take this armor upgrade. The upgrade will decrease the damage done to your system. As you receive damage, a defense build will be generated to protect you. Oh yeah, this is one of the better armor upgrades in the entire series. And it looks pretty cool too. Check it out. Smooth! Alright. This is going to come in handy, especially much later in the game. To get the final item in both Catfish's level, you have got to climb up here and make use of a ride armor. We're going to hop on this platform and summon the Kangaroo Armor. Not only to get the job done, but to give a demonstration as to what this thing is capable of. It looks just like the ride armor from Mega Man X2, with a few differences. It still punches. It still charges up. But instead of a dash forward, you just swing your claw forward. And also, unlike Mega Man X2's ride armor, this thing it cannot cover. So jump down here, hit the floor, and down we go. Clear these guys out, and at the end of the tunnel is our sub tank. 
All right, that wraps up full Catfish's level. I will see you in the next one. Here at Crush Crawfish's level, our first item, we're going to get it the same way, essentially, as the items in Tunnel Runner's level. So pull out the Triathunder, charge it up, and knock this block out of the way. Down here, we get our final Rider Arm piece, the Hawk. In fact, we're actually going to use the Hawk to get our next item. Our platform is right up here, so let's hop on and summon the Hawk. This thing means business. It can dash fast, it can fire missiles out of its two cannon arms, and, like its name, it can fly to a degree. Check this out. Pretty cool. This one is one of my personal favorites. And just over here, the red guy falls to the floor again. But instead of going all the way down, we're going to drop down and stop at the second ledge. One, and two. Blast the wall, and inside is our heart tank. Now that we're done here, I'm going to cut out, and I will see you back in Gravity Beetle's level. See you in a second. In Gravity Beetle stage, the way to get the last heart tank is to first beat Gravity Beetle. As you can see, these missile launch guys have turned green and lost their arm cannons, or secondary cannons, I'm sorry. So to get the heart tank, we climb up here, we clear these guys out, assuming they'll just leave me alone, and it's right here. Originally, this thing was held in place by boxes, and as you can see, all the boxes have also disappeared. You see, it's actually easier to get to and fro from like that. Still with my own words. Anyway, now that's taken care of, we're gonna stop the video here, and in the next one, we begin our raid on Dr. Doppler's secret lab. So until then, thank you for watching, have a good day, and I will see you next time. Peace out, guys!